Well, in 1962, uh, I met Mick. <laughs> well, I've been nominated to say hi and thank you. And I did have this speech written here, you know. And, you know, in 1922, when I wrote it, I could see it. So we'll just rip that up. You can sit down. I'm going to be here for hours. <laughs> Ah, I see you didn't get tables at the back. Well, I'd really like to just thank everyone, you know, here and everyone that's inducted us into this uh, Hall of Fame. You know, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I love, you know, they always called us a pop group. But... <laughs> Keep going, Georgie, it's your turn. I'm doing good. He always knows. Anyway, there were four of us in that band, and it just seems to be George and I, Yoko, Sean, and Julian here. Uh, <laughs> it's growing, you know, every day. <laughs> so give us the mascot armor, and let's get home. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I have to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And over to George. Thank you very much. I, I don't have to say much because I'm the quiet beetle. It uh, is unfortunate Paul's not here because he was the one who had the speech in his pocket. And why didn't they play uh, Octopus's Garden? We'll talk about that later. Anyway, we all know why John can't be here, and I'm sure he would be, and it's hard really to stand here supposedly representing the Beatles. Uh, it's what's left, I'm afraid. But um, we all loved him so much, and we all love Paul very much. I suppose basically the reason we became the band was uh, all the other people who were in the Hall of Fame already, including Lead Belly, because actually they stole his tunes, turned it into skiffle, and we all became skifflers when we were 13. And uh, all of them in there, and all the people inducted tonight too, they all had great influence on us. And it was for that reason alone, we just wanted to get guitars, get in a band, because we didn't really have proper jobs at the time. <laughs> anyway, it sort of turned out fine, and uh, <laughs> it's got a bit bigger than any of us expected. And uh, it's certainly wonderful to be here, and certainly a thrill. And thank you all very much, especially all the, the rock and rollers, a little Richard there, if it wasn't, it's all his fault, really. Yeah, but don't forget Muhammad Ali. <laughs> we won't forget Muhammad Ali, he picked us up in uh, Miami Beach one day. Anyway, thank you all very much, and on behalf of, of uh, John, I'm sure he's well covered here with Yoko, Sean, and Julian, and thank you all very much. God bless. I wish John was here. He would have been here, you know. He would have come. <laughs> he was that kind of person, full of music and love and sense of fun. And to me, this is a sort of a bitter moment, a bittersweet moment, rather. But there's always a blessing in life. And now we have 
these two beautiful boys. <laughs> I'd like to thank Ahmed, Jan, and um, the Board of Directors of Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for bestowing this honor to my late husband, Joel Lennon. Thank you. I would just, I didn't have anything planned. I would just like to say, uh, obviously I wish Dad was here. Um, but uh, I feel a bit awkward in this situation. But uh, as well as thanking Dad for giving me a lot of inspiration in the past, um, I just want to thank the rest of the guys in the Beatles for giving me a lot of influence and giving a lot of, a lot of other people influences too to live throughout their lives and help them. Thank you. Well, um, when the, I'm, I'm, I'm a little young to know about this kind of stuff, but um, I still, you know, love the Beatles and um, pretty proud to be up here today for doing nothing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're all doing nothing. Give us the prize and let's get home here. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs>